What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And we got to talk about this video here that went viral on TikTok of these white boys basically lining these black women up and picking one out of the group. Because when you see the aesthetic of this, it looks crazy. All right? It looks crazy, all right? And we got to talk about them black women start white male worshiping. Because whenever we talk about interracial dating, for the most part, in the black community, it's almost always centered around black men and white women. I already did a whole video about that and talked about how black men and white women are the most hated interracial couple in America. But we never really talk about the black women and how they be simping and tricking and chucking and jiving for the white man. We don't talk about it. All we ever talk about generally is how come black men be simping for white women and they love white women and every time they get a white woman, she's always fat and ugly and they don't even get the attractive white women and they try to make it seem like they get the highest class, most attractive white men, which has been a lie. And this video is going to prove a lot of what I've been saying to y'all about how you should not be tolerating non-submissiveness for black women because when they're around white men, they do not act like that. They don't act like that. And a lot of that, we get the higher class white men and y'all get the lower class white women. It's cat. All right. But this video is going to approve a lot of that. And we all see the aesthetic of this. It is wild. It is crazy what they really let these white men get away with. All right. So y'all know I don't like to talk too, too, too much. So we're going to get into the video. I couldn't find the original TikTok. So we're going to just react to Yanni's video on this. All right, so we're going to do a reaction to a reaction, basically, because I couldn't find the original video. So we got chipmunk cheeks right here in the middle of the screen. There go chipmunk cheeks. So we just going to have to ignore chipmunk cheeks. Of course, she got her tea ties out because y'all know those are the money makers right here. Go on and shake your money makers. That's the 200,000 subscribers right there. The tea ties. But anyways, let's get straight into the video and talk about how these black women be worshiping these white men, which they claim we be doing. Let's go. It's Yanni, the Mammy Queen, but I actually prefer... Yes, 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 she is the Mammy Queen, 100%. I'm glad she knows who she are. A lot of people be in denial about who they really are. Be yourself. And eater, because I really be out here eating these men for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then sometimes I like to squeeze in a nice little snack. But listen, this ain't about me. I warned you. I warned you. I said, if we go from worshiping black men to worshiping a new group of men that we were going to breed, the same result. Now... I will give Yanni this. She's definitely the Mamie Queen, but she's coming right out of the gate talking real spiel. What she's saying right now ain't much different than what I tell the passport bros all the time, which is, listen, if you say, well, we ain't going to deal with black men no more, we're going to deal with white men. But you take that same low self-esteem, you take that same I don't really know how to move over to a different community, it doesn't make a difference. You're going to get the same results. The reality is black women have a low self-esteem problem. The reality is black women have a I was not raised or trained by my mother to be a wife problem. And that's not problems that can be solved by changing what country you date men in or what race of men you date because men are men at the end of the day. As I often say, <laughs> again, when it comes to women, I say women are women. doesn't matter what country you go to, what race they are, women are women. Obviously, there'll be a little bit of you know ethnic differences and cultural differences, but female nature is still female nature. And if you ain't working on you, none of that's going to matter. And that's essentially what she's telling them right now. Y'all think y'all just going to go get a white boy and everything's going to be okay. No, it's not. Because you still got deep intrusive issues that you need to work on. But let's continue. Now look at this white boy right here. Tattoos, hat backwards, corny as hell. Who the hell still wears their hat? backwards only a white dude who's trying to be him you are not him you are not him my man in this video looking like shirley temple trying to be cool but i want to point this out because what do they always say besides always claiming that we always date low value fat white women they also say we date white women who just act black now i'm gonna tell you something right now about black men who date white women generally black men who date white women are dating snow white pristine milk generally Generally speaking, when y'all, because y'all always like to talk about the athletes, the athletes and the rich black men always with white women. Which one of them do you see with white women who are like this? Twerking around, brazing their hair, all that. You don't see rich black men with those type of white women. They're with pristine milk. When you see black women, though, with white boys, this is the part they don't tell you. You got this Kevin Federline, fake ass Eminem looking boy over here. With his hat tilted backwards, which nobody does that anymore. Tribal tattoos, bro, you not from no tribe. You are not a Pacific Islander. So I don't know why you have a tribal tat. Bro got a 
whole ring in his nose. All right. So he he feeling like a war hog. <laughs> like it's all types of wrong with this. But this is the part they won't tell you about. So for as much as they say we date a low value white woman, does this look like a high value white man? I'll wait. No, it does not. This is a white man who probably grew up in the hood, which means his family's probably broke. His family's probably already been turned away by white society. And that's the only reason he wants black girls, because he can't get no high class white woman like this. He can't. He ain't getting a high class black woman like this, if we being honest with you. But he damn sure ain't getting a high class white woman like this. So he he got he has to date black women. So this, this is proving my point from jump. Never listen to that cat. They told me, we only deal with the best of white men. No, they don't. But let's continue. Now, I don't even know what the hell is going on with this dude right here. Like, I don't, like, I don't, we just going to leave him alone because I don't even know what the hell is going on with him. Then we got, who we got here? We got um, fake ass Thor over here. Uh, why are these dudes got nose rings? That's very weird to me. But anyway, look, look, and she all hype. Look, look how she's sipping her drink. <laughs> she's like, oh, look at these low value white men. She charged up. Like Drake. But anyways, let's continue. I'm trying to see what I like, but I'm trying to see what likes me. You feel me? It's all in the eyes. Yeah. Look how you talking. I'm trying to see what I like. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to see what likes me too. You feel me? No, I don't feel you, Kevin Federline. I don't feel you, Eminem. I don't feel you, Machine Gun Kelly. I don't feel you with that mullet. And you got to turn your hat the right way. Nobody wears their hats backwards anymore. But this is, look at this aesthetic. My man got a line of black women. He said, I got to see who feeling me. I can't just go off of who I'm feeling. I got to see who feeling me. Now, oftentimes when black men go to play sports, what do the suedo intellectual, all right, pro-black, whole tap conspiracy theory, all these people usually say, all right? They usually say, they got y'all lined up like it's a slave auction. And they got all them athletes standing there, and they looking at them with rulers, and they looking at them, and they, they all this stuff. Now, what he got these black women lined up as, he's got them one, two. The road goes all the way down to like six, seven, or eight. Lined up back to back to back, and he's walking down the line, and he's going to pick one. Does that not look like a slave auction to you? Let it breathe. Run it back. This man got one, two, and the line goes all the way down to, I think, about five to seven of them lined up for him to look at them and judge them and pick one out of the line. Does that not look like a slave auction to you? And aren't these the same black women who always run around this mug saying, we don't compete for men. We don't believe in competing for men. We not going to compete for no man. So no woman be competing for no man. We the prize. Y'all should be competing for us. So why would you sign up to line up to be picked out by a white boy? If you don't believe in completing for a man, if you believe that the men should be the one making the moves, the men should be the ones pursuing, which I'm not in the disagreement with. What I want to know is if that's the energy you're giving black men, why are you lined up for this white boy like this? See, you being real submissive now. You, you, you want me to line up for you, Kevin Federline? Okay. But it gets worse. Let's continue. Can you do a 360 real quick? Now, look, 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 look who he picked up. Now, he told her to do a 360. Now, let me tell you guys something. <laughs> no, no matter what gender you are, someone telling you to do a 360 for them is disrespectful and there's no way around it. It's disrespectful and there's no way around it. First of all, if you're a woman and he's telling you to do a 360, he done already looked at this girl and established that she's cute. Okay? Well, she has a lot of makeup on, so we don't know what she looks like without it, but... With the makeup on, she is cute. Now, he's saying, can you do a 360? He might as well just say, show me your ass. Let me see if that ass is fat. Because that's the only reason he wants her to do a 360. Now, at the point you do this 360, you basically advertise it. At that point. Because this ain't about nothing but smashing once he tells you to do a 360. It ain't about nothing but smashing. Now, I get on the dudes all the time when Kendra G does her show because she'll always tell them to stand up and do a 360. And my problem with that is the same thing, but it's even worse because it's like you a grown man. Why are you standing up and doing a 360? You should not be standing up and doing a 360 for no damn woman as no grown ass man. As a woman, you shouldn't be standing up doing no damn 360 anyway. This is not America's next top model. <laughs> like, what are we talking about here? Bro, you're not RuPaul. Bro, you are not... What's that damn girl's name? I can't remember that other model's name. Why well, I can't remember her name? That's crazy. I should be able to remember. Tyra Banks. There you go. You are not Tyra Banks, bro. 
I know you got your hair coming out the back. You're kind of looking like Taylor Swift, but you are supposedly still a man. But we know this is a white dude. So if you think she's not going to do it, you're out of your rabbit ass mind because she is. So let's continue. Oh, I just want to see something real quick. Look, she's going to hit the 360. Of course, she's going to hit the 360. Now, look where his eyes is at. Look, look at that. What did I tell you? <laughs> this is why anytime anyone asks you to do a 360, it's disrespectful. Now, to be fair, Shorty checking out her ass too. <laughs> Women stay on some fake bisexual shit. But either way, either way, where did his eyes go? Right to her ass. He don't, there's no other reason for wanting her to turn around other than to see her ass. So, again, if you do this as a woman, you're basically saying, hey, man, you know, you can't then complain about being used or feeling used or feeling like a piece of meat. You turned yourself into a piece of meat. You advertising at the end of the day. And this is why I don't tell dudes all the time, Kendra Dream, be like, oh, stand up and do a 360. You are a grown man. You are not a woman. You should not be standing up and doing a 360 for no damn woman. Ain't nothing back there she want to see. She's telling you to do that because it's an emasculation tactic. He's telling her to do this because he's letting her know that she's beneath. She's competing for him. She's giving herself fully to him. This is about as submissive as you can get. You tell a woman to do a 360 and she just does it. No attitude, no none of that. But anyways, let's continue. Oh, no, they whistling and shit. <laughs> Come on, man. But anyways. Oh, let me backpedal because I already know what want. Now I want y'all to pay attention to this. He went down the line, right? He wants her. Now, if you go back and you pay attention to the energy she was giving him, she don't want him. <laughs> he want her. He don't know if he can get her. He might can get her because he's a white boy, but he don't know. Because her face is still saying the whole time, this dude's corny. Now, look, I ain't thinking about nothing. She's not really giving him, I'm going to give you what you want. He don't know what he's getting from her. See, he's being smart. He's being smart, right? Now, watch what he decides to do. He's going to walk down this line. Look, he looks right at the dark-skinned girl. Now, look, the dark-skinned girl still looking at him. If you look at all these other girls, she looking right past this man. She looking at him, but he's directly in front of her. She in la-la land now, but she's still looking at this man. Now, watch what he says. He said, let me backpedal because I already know who want me. Now, who you think is the one he's going to assume automatically wants him? If you're thinking the dark skin chick, ding, 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 you're right. Watch this. How you doing? And there it is. He said, and I quote, now some of y'all might be thinking, well, what's the problem with this? The problem with this is this ain't nothing but colorism put right in front of your face. Because the first woman who caught his eyes was what? The brown-skinned, borderline light-skinned one. That's the one who caught his eyes, but he couldn't really tell if she was feeling him like that or not. So he walks past, and who's the one who's hawking him now? The dark-skinned one. With the blonde weave that, that, that doesn't go past me, that the darkest black girl up here has the blondest weave. Doesn't surprise me. But either way, he stops going down the line and says, I already know who wants me. He knew the dark-skinned girl wanted him. How did he know that? Because he knows the dark-skinned girl hates herself. Sorry. But yeah, we getting a little deep now. We 14 minutes in. It's time for that real talk. He knows this dark-skinned woman hates herself. So whereas this girl over here was thinking, eh, I don't know about this white dude. He coming off as kind of corny. Maybe I'll give him a chance probably because he's white, but he's coming off as kind of corny, right? Shorty is all the way with the ish. She's with it. And he knew. He knew she was going to be with it. Why? Because she's dark skinned. What do dark skinned women want more than anything? Not all of y'all, of course. But a lot of them, this is a problem. We got to attack. They want a lighter skin, lighter babies, white men. He knew this. This was damn near predatory picking her out. But let's continue. Look, Shorty about over here laughing because she like, I know you want me. You don't want this black ass girl. <laughs> 
And there's nothing wrong being a black. Look, before any of y'all idiots come out here and try to start that colorism talk, don't nobody got more dark skinned women on their channel than me. All right? I got dark skinned women I have taken on dates. I got black skinned women all over my channel. They in my intro, they in my short, they all over the place. So before y'all start this colorism nonsense, kiss my ass. But I'm pointing this out to say he knew that the darkest one was going to automatically want him. He knew that. You see the energy she's giving him even now? This girl ain't crack a true smile like that until she's seen them pick her. <laughs> Look at the energy she's giving him. Don't even care that he said, I know who want me. That should be offensive. But she's not even smart enough to put together why it should be. Let's continue. Or you it. Like so. <laughs> of course she accepted it. <laughs> I accept. Of course she accepted it. Now, I don't know if this is the same girl or not. Maybe she's the But if this is the same girl, never put that raggedy-ass blonde weed back in your head again because you look way better this way. But look at this fake-ass Jack Harlow-looking dude. You know what? I done roasted my man enough. I done roasted the swag surfer enough. I'm going to leave him alone. Now, I guess we're going to hear a little bit of what um Bubble Cheeks got to say over here. Miss Chipmunk. <laughs> Where are the chipmunks? We're going to see what she got to say. So let's see what the hell she got to say. Why she do her eyebrows like this? They so damn high, she only got one mood and it's confused. But anyways, let's see what she got to say. Break the cycle. Let's start loving ourselves. If we can inspire men to love us in the way that we love ourselves, is that man really for us? Let's break the cycle. If we don't... See, we even Yanni knows what I'm saying. Again, I know some people are probably going to come in here and try to say that I'm being colorless when really I'm trying to help the damn dark skin girls. If we're being honest. But even Yanni knows that what I'm saying is true. Why do you think she started her little rant off with saying, hey, we got to start loving ourselves? Because she knows. He picked the dark-skinned girl because he knew the dark-skinned girl was going to be rocking. But the fact that you black women stood in the goddamn line and did 360s just to for the gaze of the white man, just for the opportunity to be picked by one, is bad enough. There's clearly a self-love issue here when you're putting yourself on the stand and doing 360 for the eyes of a low-value ass white dude. Fake ass rapping white dude. Fake ass thug white dude. Perpetrating ass white dude. I mean, if you're going to get some milk, at least get pristine milk. If it's one thing I'll never understand, it's black people dating white people who act black. Just get you a black person at that point. If you're going to date a white person, date a damn white person. Date one with some connections or something. You know what I mean? With some old money. The hell are you going to date a white person trying to be black for? It's the most counterproductive, stupid thing I've ever seen. This is why at least when the athletes date white girls, they're dating white girls with money who come from money, goddamn, who act white. I mean, it makes no sense to get you a white boy who act like a black boy. It's just about as stupid as saying you a lesbian but dating a girl who dresses like a boy. But I ain't even going to get into that one. Let's wrap this up risk for breeding a new group of men who will share the same narcissism, the same toxicity, the same dysfunction, the same one-sided loyalty. And we deserve better than that. So let's start with loving ourselves. And that should- But the problem is right now, no, you don't deserve better than that. If you're a black woman whose self-esteem was low enough, you're a black woman who hates yourself enough to even put yourself on display for this white man's gaze in the first damn place, no, you don't deserve better than anything. You got what you deserve, which is this guy. Kevin Federline, that's what you get. And when he sue you, that's you. Enough, right? That should be enough to inspire any man out here to love us. In the way that we what did she say should be enough? Hold on. Of us. Hold on. That should be enough. We deserve better than that. So let's start with loving ourselves. And that should be enough, right? That should be enough to inspire any man out here to love us in the way that we love ourselves. Uh, no, that should not be enough. This is why women don't give women good advice because just loving yourself is a great start. Yes, you need to love yourself and know yourself and your strengths and your weaknesses and what you can and can't tolerate before you step on a dating market. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, you still have to be useful. What do you mean by useful, Alex? Well, the ability to cook homemade meals, good meals so that we can host events. Not just events, but when the holidays come, like Thanksgiving, when the holidays come, like Christmas, when the holidays come, like Easter, we can host the family because you can cook. You're a good host. That is a valuable skill. That is usefulness. That adds to my life. If you are very thorough and you deep clean, 
and the back of your toilets don't look crazy and things like that. That is a very useful skill I can use in my life. If you know how to garden, if you got the green thumb as a woman, that is a very useful skill I can use in my life. If you know how to knit or you know how to sew, that is a very useful skill I can use in my life. I'm not bringing up money because I got money. But I'm just bringing up all the other utilities that you could offer as a woman. If you're nurturing, if you're caring, loving, supportive. All right, you're good with money. You can count. I can let you handle the books while I'm out getting to the bag. These are all things that make you useful. So just loving yourself is not enough, but damn, it's a good start. I will give her that. It's a good start because this is a bad look. So I challenge black women today to stop the male worshiping, turn inward, do some healing. There's no male worshiping. It's white male worshiping. They ain't worshiping no damn black. So it's not male worship. It's white male worship. You try to, you try to sneak in there. Oh, we got to start the male worship. There ain't no male worshiping. It's white male worshiping. And they ain't going to take you serious. He don't even look like he's going to marry no goddamn body. That's why his ass dating black girls. White girls are like, all right, you ain't marrying nobody. You can go over there. You can play around with those Negroes over there. We ain't about to play with you. That's essentially what happened. And put yourself first. Inspire men in that way. You can't inspire men by putting yourself first. Yanni's going to be single forever, but Yanni isn't the point of this video. The hell with Yanni. Black women, listen. <laughs> listen. You can't be desperate to the point of being thirsty trying to get with the opposite sex. All right? This is just thirsty. This is just a bad look. Lining yourself up and doing 360 turns to get with a white boy who probably got a net worth of negative $5,000 is just not the wave. This isn't what we need to be doing. It's not what we need to be doing. Yes, you need to focus on the self-love. All right, now I don't know what the hell she was talking about when she started talking about some, you know, put yourself first and then put men, you know, raise your stock with men by doing that. That's that's just retarded. <laughs> it's, it, that's just retarded. But you do need to learn yourself. You definitely need to take the time to love yourself and to get to know yourself. Because if you're down this bad, this is bad as hell. Y'all can't possibly be down this bad. This is bad. Y'all done started doing passport sisters. We a passport sis. Like, y'all down bad, and I need y'all to do better, all right? Starts with learning to love yourself, all right? Learn to love yourself. Learn your self-worth. And then, ladies, please bring some, Listen, I'm telling you, look. Y'all keep saying when it comes to men, and I'm going to edit a video with this, that this not the old days, and y'all not going to be our slaves, and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Let me tell y'all something. This ain't the old days for men, either. So those days where you just get to be cute, and that's it, it's not happening no more. You're, you need to bring something to the table, too. But it doesn't have to be money. I mean, if you can bring money, that's cool. But guess what? You're still going to have to bring something else as well. I gave y'all a list of other things that y'all could bring to the table. But this idea, I'm putting myself first, and then thus attract the men by doing that, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Learn to love yourself so you have a high enough self-esteem. All right? And within learning and loving yourself, you're going to learn what you do well, what you could bring to other people's lives, not even just in a relationship sense, but also just in a literally friendship sense, in a business sense, as an employee or a business owner or employer, you know? You'll learn these things, and then you know what you bring to the table. Nobody's got to question what I bring to the table. I can tell a woman straight up what I bring to a table. I can show her, too. I can show her too. But if you're down so bad that you're standing up here for a wannabe gangster rapping white boys, this ain't it. This ain't going to do it for you. That's all I'm saying. Either way, that's the end of this video, man. I am Alex and I am out. Peace.